News for New York begins with breaking news. And President Obama is breaking a decades-old tradition during his trip to the Big Apple tonight. Why he's not staying at the Waldorf Astoria. Let's talk about the president's mm -hmm. visit, right? President Obama is on his way to New York City, and he's breaking, though, a decades-long tradition during his trip. Every president since Herbert Hoover in the early 1930s has stayed at the Waldorf Astoria. So why isn't President Obama checking in there tonight? News 4's Mark Santia is in Midtown with the explanation. Mark? And David, the president will be staying here near the U.N. Sources tell News 4 this is more of a political decision than a national security matter. This agenda is driven by the White House, not driven by the Secret Service. This is not a, a tail wags the dog scenario. Before running Insight Security, Christopher Falkenberg was a Secret Service agent working on presidential details assigned to keep the commander in chief safe. And the locations are entirely at the discretion of the president and his staff. So it's the White House that determines where the president is going to stay. Christopher says, as far as fears the Chinese might potentially bug the president's room with listening devices, this former agent believes that's a non-factor. The Secret Service is capable of making pretty much any environment safe. 